go. I remember back to the days when I didn't have problems. I was just an ordinary guy, but that all changed in a hurry. It was my eighth birthday, and my parents decided to take me on a helicopter ride. I loved helicopters. We got off the ground, and about three seconds later, the darn thing crashed and burned. I was the only survivor. Both of my parents were dead. I was an orphan that nobody wanted. But after a while, I realized there was something special about me. I was just being my normal self, hooping at the park when I took a jump shot, and I just floated there, one centimeter off the ground. I was thinking to myself, what is happening? Then I realized I could fly, but only a centimeter off the ground. Back in the orphanage, I had my best friend, Mother Teresa, who I also found out had superpowers. She I'm Danzel in distress, they all serve you. Oh, oh my goodness, my hero. Dark outside at only 2 p.m. I don't know. There might be no villain in town. We have to stop him. Let's go to Info Lab B. I am Jim. I am going to take over the world with my powers. Fear me, or I will make the world dark forever. Stop him. The Trump Towers. Wait, why Trump Towers? I just called them to see if they had a, had a gym staying there, and they said they did in room 1046. Got you now! You can't fight what you can't see. I can't see. Oh wait, I have night vision goggles. Oh my god. I can see. Boom! Ah! Ah! I got him! Right where I want him. Any last words? My Jim. Oh my god, you think he's dead? Aren't I just the smartest person in coming up with that goggles idea? Yeah, smarter than Einstein. Yep. Make sure he's alive so we can lock him away for life. <laughs> he's still dead. He can fly on his butt. 
I'm not gonna use that word because okay. I can't use it. Tall for no reason. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I didn't get the I'm white part. I hear that. A kitchen fire. Uh oh. Spill oil on it. Make it worse. I really don't know what to say. Probably wasted a minute of your day. 